Today I will show you how to make this VHS rewind effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. All right, so here I have a clip of Netspend and Os Amazon from their withdrawals music video. And here I can just start making the effect. So the first thing you want to do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And we can cut up by pressing Ctrl Shift D. And yeah, I'm just gonna cut it to a couple of frames. Uh, you can have it even as a one frame. This effect works very well just as a one frame, yeah. Or for a couple of frames, it doesn't really matter. So the first effect I'll add here is very optional. It's S Shake. Since this is a VHS effect, uh, VHS effects usually have some shakes, so I kind of wanted to have one as well here. So I'll make the amplitude to 0 0.06. It's a bit actually high for this, but it doesn't really matter. And I'll check on the motion blur. And now I can add STV damage. Here I like to make the reception master to like 0 0.3, just a bit lower. And the most important part is to go to fast forward amount and make it like really high to like 2.74 maybe. I really don't know, just make it how much you want. And also you can go to fast forward details. And here we can change the brand frequency if you don't like it to maybe lower like three to make it a bit different. I can make the band shift a bit different as well to like 0 0.39. It's just gonna make them position a bit differently. And I actually want to make that band height a bit larger to like 0 0.3. Now you can make the brand frequency a bit different like this and it will be just two. This also looks really cool, but I'll just keep it as it was to three. Now another solidly important effect here. Actually, it's a very important effect. It's uni.vhs. If you want to have the rewind text at least and we can go to the choose a preset if you actually have the button for some versions you don't actually have this button and here we can choose like any of these effects like maybe h2hs looks kind of cool so we can just apply it yeah i'm just checking whatever effect i basically want and i like to go to the frame style and i like to make it to four by three because it's a vhs effect we kind of want it to have look like this an important part is to enable text here go to text generator and here go to place the status and uh, make the status text to read Rewind, go to time code. I actually like to turn this off and we can also go to tape speed and we can also turn off the show speed. So we just have the rewind right here. And that's already looking really good. I mean, you can save it as it is right here, but we can keep going actually. So an effect I love to add here is another plugin, which is called Signal. Now we just had to add a Sapphire plugin, I'm pretty sure, and also the Universe plugin, but now we also can add Signal. Now this is probably one of my favorite plugins. And now what I like to do with Signal is usually to go to the modulation and turn off the pairs and the turn on and off and here i'm going to make the signal strength very low to like three which will make the colors pop a lot more and the last effect i like to add here is s flicker uh, very optional by the way and i'm just gonna keep it as it is here i just want some flicker maybe for sometimes sometimes you don't actually even want it and here we have a rewind effect and now to actually make something rewind or look like it's rewinding you can just have it as a transition like this but look it doesn't look that good like just like that so i have some tips for that so before i give you the tips you should probably save this as a preset so you can go to one of the effects press ctrl a to select every effect go to animate save animation preset and here you can call it like vhs rewind povikas i don't know call it whatever you want press save and now we can start to mess around so we can like for example press ctrl shift d and make like a little point here where it's like glitches like that now a really cool glitch would be like you can press ctrl y i'm gonna cut it up to one frame this new adjustment layer that i just made and below all of this you can add invert and that'll be like a really nice uh cool glitch this will look like it's actually rewinding a bit more and to make it even more rewind like you can go back to this clip you can press ctrl d to duplicate it and bring it a bit here and here you can cut out just one or two frames i'm gonna cut out one frame and it's going to look like it's rewinding even more now so yeah uh, these are some tips to make it look like it's a bit more rewind and another thing I would really recommend is if you want even better VHS rewinds or just crazy VHS effects I actually have a VHS presets pack on my poikos.com website which is a crazy VHS glitch and just VHS effect pack so I would really recommend to check it out and if you actually have the pack or if you're looking to get it you can press ctrl y and you can go to effects and presets and type VHS and here you will see a bunch of presets I actually need to drag this down yeah here you will see a bunch of presets it's like over 40 and here we can pick and go to vhs rewind i'm actually gonna drag this a bit here so yeah i added a couple of vhs rewinds to make this pack seem way more fun so i'm gonna drag it on top of here now i added vhs rewind too and it will basically have like this very damaged look i made these look even a bit more realistic our previous ones didn't look like 
fully realistic ratios, but this is basically the realistic ratios. And here we can just press Control Shift D to cut it to one frame because you don't want to have it for the full frames. And I will just add this on top of some of these uh, frames like this. And we can actually press Control D here, duplicate and add it on top of here. Just looks really cool. Yeah, so that's going to look very cool duplicates a couple more times uh we can press control to y you can have more different vhs rewinds i have vhs rewind one as well it's this type of rewind it doesn't have actual any text here looks really cool uh another really cool thing you can mess around with is like if you want to be a bit glitchier you can go to vhs glitches from the pack and we can go to the fixes i think yeah for 2025 version of after fix the fixes work fantastically so i'm gonna go to vhs glitch 2v2 fix and basically after you have your transition you can have a glitch like this so yeah this glitch is kind of insane it also reminds me of a rewind so yeah this glitch looks actually insane it's basically yeah like a rewind glitch i didn't actually know what to call it so i just called it a glitch but yeah look how it glitches like that yeah that is a crazy glitch and you can just have it on transitions or whatever and i have plenty of more of these glitches rewinds and let's not forget the effects so if you're looking into getting a lot of crazy vhs effects there's a bunch which is 10 for example yeah that's like a really realistic almost opium vhs look i don't even know how to call it yeah that is just insane and all of these effects are just drag and drop and for supporting the channel i would like to give you a five dollar discount code which is called povicas uh, you can use it to save five dollars off on the vhs presets pack but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya